The next important step in my studio build is creating storage space for all my gear. Now, there are a few options, of course. You can use shelves, but if you use a lot of shelves in a small room like this, then you'll make it even smaller. So I decided to go for some of these perforated panels and these will allow me to hang a lot of my gear on the wall and that will save me a lot of space. They usually come in grey or black, uh, also some other colors, but I decided to go for grey because I think it looks best with the color that I have here on the wall. Can you see it? It's reflection. Ah, there. Looks nice, right? Now, the difficulty of course will be creating enough storage space without making the room look like a storage room. I want it to look like a studio, not a storage room. So yeah, I'll have to decide how many of these I want to put, how many shelves I want to put, because I also want to use a few of these low shelves. So, I'm not sure where to put them. That will be the wall that I'm facing whenever I'm gonna make talking head videos. That will be the background of my talking head videos, so I'm not gonna put them there. It's gonna be either on that wall or on the white wall. Hmm. It looks better on the gray wall, so maybe that's the best option. And then this white wall will stay clear. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to see if I can store all my uh, gear over there. So maybe I'll need more storage space. I guess I'm just gonna have to give it a try. So I guess something like that. Now I only have four of those perforated panels right now. The other four are on their way, but I'm gonna hang these already. And those shelves, you see those shelves? Those are super cheap. Not sure if they fit the whole concept, the whole vibe. So what I'm thinking is, do you remember the table that I ordered with the wheels? Well, I think I'm gonna build these shelves, the same kind of shelves, in the same material as a table. So the piping, the wood, and also wheels. And then I'll be able to move these shelves around too. I think that's gonna be a lot more efficient, if you know what I mean. Um, but for now, this will have to do. Let's build the gear wall. And in the meantime, the rest of the panels arrived. Do you want to see it? Maybe next week, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Boom! Look at that. I'm super happy. It looks super nice. Uh, I already hung some stuff there just to show you what you can hang, but it's pretty much anything. So we have the Weevil 2. We have the Zhiyun Crane M3, my normal stabilizer the Gorilla Pod, my Mavic Air 2, the remote, the small rig cage for my Sony A7S III, here's the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, the Zoom H5, some cables, uh, some tools over there. So, you know, it's like just be creative. And it was super easy to install. I think it took two hours. Just make sure that it's leveled and that it's super strong, of course, because it has to hold quite an amount of weight and you don't want it to come down all of a sudden. That would be horrible. Jesus. Now, some of you asked me in the comments that I should talk more about what everything costs here, everything that I'm building. So let's do that in the living room. And I also have to talk about the hooks because those hooks, those were a pain in the ass. So those eight perforated panels costed me a little over 100 euros. Then a bag of hooks is like something between 10 and 20 euros. 
and then those two shelves, each of those was 30 euros. So everything together, it's something like $200, right? Something like that. So there you go. <sighs> I'm back. I'm finally back. It's a few days later. My beard is a little bit longer. I might even look different. I don't know. Healthier? Maybe? So what happened? Appendicitis. That's what happened. I can even show you. Um, it doesn't look that bad, but if you don't want to see it, then just skip a few seconds. So yeah. I don't know if you can even see it because they do this with these like minimal invasion techniques. So they went in here and then also in here and next to my belly button. Appendix is right there somewhere. Um, yeah, and so they wanted to take it out. That's what they do when you have appendicitis. But apparently it was so inflamed that they couldn't take it out. It was way too angry. So what they did is they gave me antibiotics. I had to stay there for two nights. I'm still gonna have to take antibiotics for two weeks and then in a month they will take, or six weeks, they will take out my appendix uh, when it has calmed down because it was super angry. Um, <laughs> oh no, laughing hurts. Now, luckily, Luckily, they didn't find any infection in my blood. The doctors were a bit baffled because it was so severely inflamed, but they didn't find any infection in my blood. But that's really good because once the infection is in your blood, then it can get really dangerous. You don't want that. And well, yeah, in the end, it hurt. It hurt a lot, but it wasn't that bad. And I'm glad that it was just appendicitis because you know, when they were doing the scans, the sonogram guy, he was like, whoa, that looks really bad in there, but I can't really see what it is. It's too, too cloudy. So we're gonna have to do some more scans. But yeah, when they say it's really bad, but we can't see what it is, we have to do more tests, then, you know, you start to get a little bit nervous because it can be something worse than appendicitis. Luckily it wasn't. It was appendicitis. I'll be fine. <sighs> That's it. A little health update. Now back to the hooks. So, there are different kinds of these perforated panels. And the difference, of course, usually is the distance of the holes. Now, for this panel, what I need, according to the description, is hooks that are 25 millimeters apart. So, what I did is I bought a set of hooks that, according to the description, were 25 millimeters apart. But, I'm gonna have to see if I take the, the right one here. So this was the first set that I, no, this was the first set that I bought. Pay attention, 25 millimeters apart, holes, 25 millimeters. Uh, can you see it here? So, yeah, doesn't fit. Nope, nope doesn't fit. Okay, it's not that expensive. I went to another vendor. I was like, maybe they made a mistake in the description. I bought another set of hooks. These said the same thing. You need holes that are 25 millimeters apart. And these holes, it doesn't fit. And the point is that, you know, it has to fit in those little holes, but it doesn't. The only way these fit are here. If you use one of these big holes. So one big hole, one small hole. But then you're limited in, you know, where you can put the hooks. Now, what I think that's going on is that some vendors measure the distance between the metal and other vendors measure from the center of these wires. You see it? So the center of the wire. And of course, then you get a small difference. And that's the difference that you see here that, that these don't fit. So the third time, what I did is I measured myself the distance between the center of the holes. It was 32 millimeters, I think. And then I found a vendor that sold these hooks and it said also 32 millimeters. It didn't say that it was between the metal or the center. I just took a gamble, turned out perfect. 
So if you're planning to do something like this yourself with these panels, these are pretty cheap. So maybe that's also the problem. Anyway, that's just a tip. I'm gonna end the video now because standing like this, it doesn't hurt, but it's also not comfortable at the moment. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing also not. Oh, I might look like I'm in pain, but I'm not really in pain. It's just a little bit stiff and you know, they went in there, so, but I'm okay. But I'm not gonna do any more major building here in the studio for, well, at least a few days. I'm glad that I could finish the gear wall just in time, just before it exploded in there. I'm gonna wait for the table now. I hope it comes soon. And in the meantime, there's some uh, products that uh, have arrived for reviewing. There's a, a, Z, a Zhiyun package that arrived, so I'm gonna open that. <sighs> Life, it's full of surprises, right? But in the end, every time something happens like this, I don't know, it's weird. It's not fun, like, trust me, it's not fun, it hurt a lot, but when they tell you it's that and you know we can fix it, you're gonna be fine. I'm always glad that it's not like, you know, those worst things that could happen, especially when it's like in there. <sighs> Health, it's, it's, it's priceless. See you on the next one.